to my channel. So today I'm going to be harvesting some dandelions. I use these in a lot of my incense recipes and since the whole field has sprouted, I'm going to be collecting some. I'm going to be collecting a jar full and then maybe some more. Because when they condense, they go from, if you fill this up to the top, they go from here to like here. When they dry up and they shrivel up. So we got to get a lot today. And uh, So yeah, we're just going to be cutting the heads off and drying them out. So the reason I only use the heads is because I feel that I can get more incense out of grinding the heads up than having to deal with the stem and all the issues with them because it takes forever for the, for the stem to dry out. So I'm cutting them really close to the head. So these are the dandelions I collected and in the next step I'm going to show you how I dry them. So I'm going to be putting the dandelions out in the sun for a while so they can dry and they'll get more than four hours of sunlight per day so they'll quicken up the drying process a little bit. So, so I'll get back to you when they're done drying. So it's three days later and I'm going to go eat the dandelions now. You can see how much they dried up. So now that they're in their dry state, um, I'm going to use my wooden pummel to kind of ground these up a little bit so I can put them in my specific jar. Just take a small handful, put it in, and with buds like this you lightly crush. You don't, you don't go at it too hard. It should look like this when you're done pummeling it so it's nice and loose. And you just put it in your jar. So that's how I like to collect, dry, and store dandelion heads that I use for incense making. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and please leave a comment if you want to see another drying herb video. Thanks for watching. Bye!